people don't really understand it until you actually see it coming at you in a wall of flame. Drying out for, you know, two years, so it's very volatile. And of course we have the eucalyptus, which is in the air, it's volatile too, so it just explodes. It's very, very terrifying. We begin with the breaking news of a, a Ukrainian passenger jet plane has crashed shortly after takeoff from Tehran, killing at least 170 passengers and crew. Rescue workers say there were no survivors. The Ukraine International Airlines Boeing 737 was banned for Kiev. Now we begin with our coverage of the new coronavirus outbreak. In a significant development, the Chinese capital has reported its first death caused by the new virus. This is how Ta'al Island looked before the volcanic eruption. <laughs> and here's how it looks now. Now to growing concerns about the deadly coronavirus officially hitting the U.S. Here's what we know. A Washington state resident fell ill after returning from Wuhan, China. Good evening, welcome to ESPN Sports Center Zubin Mahenti. I'm Michael Lees. Breaking news in this Sunday afternoon. Five-time NBA champion, former league MVP Kobe Bryant died earlier this afternoon in Los Angeles in a helicopter crash. In East Africa, the air carries two plagues. Locusts swarms with as many as 50 billion insects. First of all, we now have a name for the disease, and it is COVID-19. Despite the rising coronavirus infections and deaths in Italy, tonight's announcement by Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte came as a shock. The full lockdown of all of Italy, effectively putting the country's population of some 60 million under quarantine. WHO has been assessing this outbreak around the clock and we're deeply concerned both by the alarming levels of spread and severity and by the alarming levels of inaction. We have therefore made the assessment that COVID-19 can be characterized as a pandemic. The 2020 Tokyo Olympics will be postponed. Japanese Prime Minister Abe Shinzo reached a deal with International Olympic Committee President Thomas Bach Tuesday on a proposal that would push the Games back until 2021. Legendary singer and actor Kenny Rogers died last night of natural causes at his home in Georgia. He was 81 years old. And News Channel 5's Kerry Sharp explains the Grammy and CMA winner's career was one that crossed into several genres until he finally found a home with country music. The global outbreak of COVID-19 has just reached a grim milestone, with the number of cases passing one million. The latest figures from John Hopkins University show more than 51,000 people have died and more than 180 countries have recorded outbreaks. The USNS Comfort is now treating patients in New York, and Comfort is exactly what that hospital ship is bringing New Yorkers. Feeling the presence of the United States military here just gave me a sense that things were going to be okay. 
this Asian giant hornet found in Blaine, Washington, just a couple miles from McFall's property. And all it takes is a couple dozen of the Asian giant hornets to show up and start lopping off heads. Dubbed the murder hornet for its powerful sting and the way it decapitates its prey, this is the first time the world's largest hornet has been seen in the U.S. Next tonight, celebrating an American original, Little Richard, a founding father of rock and roll with an unforgettable flair. He has died. Here's ABC's David Wright. Here's that real solid man of rock and roll, Little Richard. This horrifying scene of an Airbus crashing into a residential neighborhood was caught on security camera. Incredibly, rescuers found two survivors. They pulled Pakistani bank president Zafar Massoud from the wreckage, only suffering fractures. The first time we are seeing the moments leading up to the arrest of George Floyd. Newly released videos from the body cameras worn by two former Minneapolis officers are shedding new light into the death that set off protests around the world. Marcus Moore has the latest, and we do warn you, the new images are disturbing. Tonight, a judge ordering that release of two body camera videos from George Floyd's arrest and death. The breaking news as the George Floyd protests turned destructive in parts of Manhattan. This is just a snapshot of some of the damage the people will be waking up to in Soho. Through the night, protesters smashed into luxury stores, stealing items and clashing with police. Legendary country star Charlie Daniels has passed away. Daniels' publicist confirms the news in a statement, saying the Country Music Hall of Fame and Grand Ole Opry member died this morning at Summit Medical Center in Hermit Edge, Tennessee. Doctors determined the cause of death was a hemorrhagic stroke. TV icon Regis Philbin has died. He was 88 years old. I have no regrets. I received an opportunity to do something that I always wanted to do. And some people go through their whole careers and never get that chance. From tropical storms to those wildfires which are raging, raging in the West, forcing tens of thousands to flee their homes. Kaylee Hartung joins us now from the Fire Zone in Yorba Linda, California. Good morning, Kaylee. Hey, good morning, Michael. We have watched this fire climb this hillside. There is very little separating these flames from the neighborhood below and hundreds of homes. Fire crews have been working overnight, and now police are going door to door here telling people it's time to go. In video from the day of the blast, you can see white flashes, what appear to be fireworks, going off before the massive explosion. news right now actor Chadwick Boseman of Black Panther fame has died at the age of 43. Boseman's representative says tonight the actor passed away after a four-year fight with colon cancer. Most fans did not know he was sick but many became concerned for his health after Boseman posted this video on Instagram in April in which he appeared very thin. More than one million people worldwide have died from COVID-19, according to research conducted by Johns Hopkins University. Experts believe the true number is likely far higher partly because of the way different countries report deaths. Well, what a year. And uh, we've just had a, another monumental event, the death of Associate Justice on the Supreme Court, Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg was a diminutive yet towering women's rights champion. Rock legend Eddie Van Halen has died at 65 after a long battle with throat cancer. The rocker's son, Wolf, sharing the news on Twitter today, calling him the best father he could ever ask for. Legendary actor Sir Sean Connery has died. That's according to the official James Bond Twitter account. A uh, star in dozens of blockbuster films, Connery is best known for his role as the aforementioned super spy in the 007 franchise. He's also played seminal roles in other classics like the, Run the Hunt for Red October, Indiana Jones and The Last Crusade, as well as The Untouchables, for which he won the Oscar for Best Supporting Actor. A humanitarian crisis is unfolding in Central America tonight. Honduras is being hammered by powerful winds. Hurricane Iota made landfall in Nicaragua, and torrential rain has triggered flash flooding and landslides. Jeopardy host Alex Trebek has died at the age of 80. The show's producers confirmed Trebek's passing in a tweet a short time ago. They say he died peacefully, surrounded by his family and friends. This is the village of Barranca in Marikina City. 
It only took Typhoon Vamco a few hours to submerge more than half of the communities here. People tell us they were forced to evacuate when the river's water level rose 18 meters. Country music legend Charlie Pride passed away on December 12, 2020 in Dallas, Texas from coronavirus complications, according to an announcement from his official website. The singer was 86 years old.